Hi, welcome to Enchiridion, and welcome to this new series, Crypto Case, where we will look at cryptids from a scientific perspective and weigh evidence to find the truth. It's mysterious, it's intriguing, it's convincing, it's the skunk ape. In terms of convincing, the skunk ape has one great piece of evidence, high quality, yet dark photos of the beast. The photos are by a woman who claimed to have taken photos of the creature that she discovered in her backyard. She then mailed these photos to the sheriff's department in Sarasota, Florida, which she claimed would later become the source of mystery. She said that the beast stole apples from a basket in her back porch for three days. Originally, she believed that the creature was an escaped orangutan. A less compelling piece of evidence was the fact that the creature left her porch by the time police arrived. Like Bigfoot, a skunk ape hasn't been caught yet, and most sightings have certainly been regarded with skepticism. Sightings are from the Florida Everglades and Florida in general. Dave Sheely, the person behind Skunk Ape Research Headquarters and Trail Lakes Campground in Okopee, Florida, claims that the Okefenokee Swamp sustains a small population of skunk ape. Sheely reports that he saw the skunk ape when he was 10, around 1974 in the Big Cypress National Preserve, and the impression impacted him. In July of 2000, he caught the skunk ape on tape. The footage is grainy, to say the least, but at the end of the tape, we can see it in greater detail. This film is hard to replicate because of the fact that it's a swamp, and someone with a suit would have a hard time moving so swiftly in such terrain. Yet it isn't as compelling as the Miyaka photos, because it's jittery. Ask any biologist, and they will tell you that the skunk ape doesn't exist. They do have compelling evidence. Despite many research projects in the Everglades using motion-activated trail cameras, no one has yet captured indisputable skunk ape proof or has stumbled upon its remains. The other evidence we have, eyewitness accounts, aren't as reliable. Sheely responds by mentioning that life decomposes quickly in the swamp, and that at over 2 million acres that are mostly not visited, it's hard to find proof of the skunk ape which is also slightly correct. Another slightly compelling piece of evidence is that the local Native American groups, the Seminoles and Mikasuki tribes, have told stories about the skunk ape for centuries. Over the past 60 years, Floridians have been reporting the legendary beast. Chile reportedly found evidence of the creature in the form of huge, four-toed footprints near his hunting camp in Big Cypress. Multiple cases of sightings have continued and another famous one was when passengers on a tour bus traveling through the preserve claimed that they saw the beast. Sheely mentions that it was 30 to 40 people all saying the same thing. Jan Brock, a real estate agent, and Vince Doer, chief of the Ochopi Fire Control District, saw the beast and snapped a quick photo. Remember that this was July 1997 and the photos weren't of the best quality. In 1998, Sheely caught a second sighting of the skunk ape and took a photo. Many question Sheely's authenticity and the fact that cryptid sightings are hard to prove. Nonetheless, the skunk ape has also found notoriety in South Georgia, with two primary sightings and stories. First, Rebecca Leinberg, a Baldosta resident, reportedly went outside one night due to hearing her dogs barking intensely. What awaited her was intriguing to say the least a bipedal hairy man. Her husband shot it and ran off. On another night, Rebecca's stepfather shot at what he believed was a naked man. The morning after that, they found 20 inch footprints and deduced that the creature was at least seven feet tall. The skunk ape is a hominid and reportedly also lives in trees similar to a monkey. Its smell reportedly is very intense and may smell of rotten eggs. That's why it's called the skunk ape. Some researchers attribute the animal's odor to its natural habitat of alligator dens. All skunk ape sightings have been characterized by a strong smell. Reaching up to 6.5 to 8 feet tall, 
the skunk ape is considered a smaller version of the famous Bigfoot. At some point, creatures such as Gigantopithecus existed that could be a possible skunk ape or Bigfoot, which is the typical evidence of Bigfoot believers. According to Dave Sheely, an average male skunk ape stands 8 feet tall and weighs around 450 pounds. Females are smaller. Both are covered in long, reddish, or black hair, like an orangutan or gorilla. Their supposedly omnivorous diet is made by bird nestlings, wild hogs, and native berries. Weighing all the evidence we have, we can say that the skunk ape is a cool mystery, but lacks a foundation necessary to prove its existence. Because of the Miyaka photos which are very compelling, we can only wonder about its authenticity. They are of high quality and extremely hard to replicate with a gorilla suit. A reason we may continue to believe the skunk ape might be real is the fact that many new species are continuing to be uncovered. Supposed cryptids have turned out to be real. We can observe this in examples such as the giant squid or the Komodo dragon. All of the stories told over the decades add up to some sort of large bipedal mammal in the Everglades. Nonetheless, the fact that a population of skunk apes hasn't ever been caught in any form means that we have to be skeptical of such a creature's existence. In conclusion, the skunk ape is an intriguing mystery in urban legend. Lacks crucial evidence though the Miyaka photos are compelling, so the skunk ape can't yet be fully disproven or proven to exist. It might be an escaped orangutan, but only empirical evidence will be the proof of its existence. And guess what? We do have a little empirical evidence. By analyzing the photos' features with those of an orangutan, we can see a striking resemblance. By also analyzing the fangs of the beast, we can also see great resemblance to those of an orangutan. So weighing this piece of evidence, we can deduce that the skunk ape most probably is a case of misidentification of an escaped orangutan, which may fit into the picture of the time frame in which this photo appears. Judging from the behavior of the supposed skunk ape, such as stealing apples, we can say that this is normal orangutan or hominid behavior, which also fits into the picture. Personally, I believe that there is more proof suggesting that the creature is an escaped orangutan than any other possibility. Though at the same time, I also hope I'm wrong about this and that some cryptozoologist proves me wrong with indisputable evidence. That would be interesting and may prove this legend once and for all. Thank you for watching, and if you would like to continue seeing short documentaries about cryptids, animals, or prehistoric creatures, comment below what you would like to see next. This is Enchiridion. See you next time.